Hello, and welcome to Math with Mr. Almeida again. This is the last video in the series of the Mental Math Strategies videos that relate to the Common Core State Standards on using Mental Math Strategies to add and subtract within 20, in particular in grades 1 and grade 2. All right, so this is the last one, and I know there are a lot of facts that uh, you may know, that students may know, um, but then to relate those facts to new problems is something that can really help them to find the answers. And so we're going to use what we know, the sums that we do know, to solve sums that we don't exactly know right away. Um, so let us use those strategies at this time. Alright, so the problem is 6 plus 7. And if I look at 6, I'm going, to, I'm going to assume that I know already a fact. I'm going to assume that I know what all of the doubles are. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, and so on. I'm going to think that I already know what 6 plus 6 is. 6 plus 6 is 12. All right? So if 6 plus 6 is 12, I'm going to ask, how does 6 plus 7 relate to this? Well, 6 plus 7 is just 6 plus 6 plus one more. Okay? So what I typically do is I, I, I would ask, um, which of these are the smaller number? Because whichever is the smaller number is going to be included in the bigger number, and there'll be some more. So in the problem 6 plus 7, I know that 6 is the smaller number. I know that 7 is 6 and what? 6 and 1. So therefore, um, that's the reason why I always look at what's the smaller number. Because I know that the bigger number is going to have that smaller number and some other um, parts to it. And some more. So 6 and 6, I know is 12. And 12 plus 1 is 13. So I can use facts that I already know to solve unknown sum problems. So 6 plus 7 is really 6 plus 6 plus 1. And 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. And that's how I can use mental math to solve a problem that I don't know using information that I already do know. All right. Let's look at another problem, another two problems. If you'd like to use these strategies to solve um, these next two problems, please do so and unpause the video when you finish to come back and check. All right. So using the information that we learned last time, uh, I know that 6 plus 6 is 12. So I'm looking at the smaller number here, and 6 is a smaller number. So I know that 8 is 6 and what? 6 and how much more? 2. So therefore, this problem would be 6 plus 6, which is 12, plus 2 more, which is 14. And that would be the answer to 6 plus 8, 14. I'm going to do one more. 9 plus 7, which of these are smaller? 7 is smaller. So I'm looking at this number. 9 is 7 and what? 7 and 2. So 7 and 7 make 14. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 2 more. So 14 plus 2 is 14, 15, 16. So 7 plus 7 is 14, 15, 16 is my answer. And that's what 9 plus 7 is, 16. These mental math strategies are very helpful in uh, solving addition and subtraction problems within 20. The more that you practice with them, the better that you're going to be uh, with using them. And you'll find that over time with practicing these strategies, you're going to end up memorizing the facts within 20. And that is the goal of this, so that you don't have to think about um, the, the facts. You can just begin to apply the facts to um, longer addition problems when it comes to a lot of digits that you're adding up. Um, and also solving word problems as well. So the focus will be on that instead of how do I figure out the answer to a 6 plus 8 problem or 
a 17 minus 9 problem. Well, I hope you enjoyed and gained a lot out of these videos. Um, come back and see what other videos we have in store with Math Mr. Almeida. Until then, um, have a great day and continue to learn and love math.